it's just horrendous. Taliban hitting people, paras with no choice but to hold the line. The road to safety is packed, thousands upon thousands. It's hard to put into words how desperate this is, but most of these people will not get through. Stay there, stay there. Sergeant Major Gaz McMahon has a man's passport. On a container, he calls him forward. A Talib fighter lets him through. He passes the passports back, but he has to wait. The shipping containers have been put on the road to keep the gates of the British compound clear. People funneled through. The main shield wall. Soldiers called up to reinforce the human wall beyond. It's constant. Once through, it's better, but not much. Again, thousands penned in as the identification process goes on. British and American troops are now working together, trying to differentiate the countries the evacuees should go to. It's fair to say the soldiers have never seen anything like this, even the old hands. Sometimes you have it like absolutely rammed with people pushing and chaos outside. Other times it sort of calms down. What happens? Well, sometimes we can manage to calm the crowd down, using the local nationals to calm them down. When they see the process is working, they're calm. When they start getting a bit hot, uh, dehydrated or whatever, people start getting annoyed. We tend to find a lot of the people causing the, uh, causing the disturbances haven't got the correct documentation, so they're... They sort of know their chance in their arms, and, and that's how that one. And I suppose, really, this is all about time, isn't it? You've just got to crack on. No, that's it. We're not going to be here forever. It could be days. Who knows? Some heading to America have their contact name held in the air. They've been here for hours, but Spencer hasn't come. We've been in contact. The, the crowd is just crazy. No one is helping, and I don't know. If this keeps going, no one will get help. We are requesting the government to fix this. Are you, are you going to America or to Britain? America? I've been working with them for five years. It's hot, blisteringly hot. British soldiers spot a baby in danger. They take control. With their family in tow, they make their way to the British compound. These are combat soldiers, remember. But they also care about what's happening to the people here. Well, it is absolute pandemonium, but funny enough, it's, it's not chaos, it's actually just chaotic. The British and American soldiers are now working together, and that is a massive change, and it's really improved the system, but they're still trying to separate the people. You look down here, I mean, you know, there are thousands. They're working their way through it as best they can. Point to remember, though, is if you come this side, beyond the containers, it's absolute, absolute chaos down there. And they're just queuing to try and get inside. Over the heads of the evacuees, another transporter plane takes off. That's what they're here for, the flight to safety. In the midst of all this sadness, sometimes, just sometimes, you see joy breaking out. They are going in. Wahid was a British Army translator in Helmand. Now he and his family are going to the UK. It's been agreed. This is a very, a very happy day in my life. Yeah. Have you got family in Britain? Uh, no, no, no. So you're the first. Yeah, first yeah. Time. I'm going to go to Britain. That's my first trip to Britain. And so you're waiting just to get yes, Britain. Yes. Yes. Was it scary outside? Yes, it was very scary. It was very hard to find outside, like a zombie. Yeah. Like a zombie. So zombie land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you most excited about in Britain? Uh, to educate my family and my children to, uh, to Britain uh, and, and Britain and become an engineer and doctor in Britain and serve for Afghanistan and for, Brit uh, for British people. Fantastic. Well, do you know where you're going? No, I don't know. I'm sure. Uh, I, I'm not sure where we'll be, but uh, it will be Britain uh, somewhere. and somewhere. Yeah. Time is running out for this evacuation. There is no doubt in that. It's just a matter of how long. Not everyone who should go will. The majority in the streets outside will not. Very soon, they're on their own. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Kabul.